What's going on, YouTube? Mike, aka Madness DFS, with the Sharp App DFS Army on Twitter and in our Discords, back with another version of the NFL season. We're going season long props today. We're going receivers or receiving. We do have a tight end that we're going to talk about. Uh, we did running backs yesterday and quarterbacks on Monday, so go check those out. They're over on our YouTube channel. Uh, hit the like and subscribe on all of them. It's finally getting to be NFL season. Teams are starting to re report to train training camp. Uh, we got Hard Knocks, Giants over on HBO. So it's starting to feel like NFL is right around the corner. So we're going to get ahead on some of these some of these NFL props for the season long. Did well on them last year. So going right back to the well this season. Do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe on your way in. Helps us grow this channel and get you as much free content as we can possibly get you. And if you're not already on Prize Picks or Sleeper, uh, the promo code you see on your screen will apply to both. Um, both sites are going to match your first deposit up to $100. And if you shoot me a message in our Discord on Twitter, leave me a comment in the YouTube or on this video that says you use that promo code, I will hook you up with two free months of Sharp App Pro, which gets you access to all things we have to offer, uh, including our Proptimizer, our Prize Picks. Um, tool that's the best price picks tool in the industry we have the same thing for sleeper you get access to our discord dom x bay always in there posting winners uh this this guy's just printing money over on prize picks so uh the discord's a good time make sure to check it out with that let's jump right into it i do want actually i have my twitter up follow me on twitter people i lost my twitter account a couple of weeks ago so i lost about five thousand followers so i'm working it from the ground up uh, madness DFS bets over on Twitter, but Taco Tuesday was good for us over uh, at Prize Picks. Posted these in the Discord yesterday. Loved Jared McCain yesterday and Bub Carrington. Carrington had an awful first half. Um, I don't think he scored in the first half. Went to refresh a bunch of stuff. It was just kind of monitoring the game. I wasn't watching the game. I did watch this Philly game. Um, I don't know where he had 12 points. I'm like, oh, shit, this guy's got a chance. And he got there. So shout out to Bub Carrington came through for us. But with that, let's get to NFL. And we're going to go to the Kansas City Chiefs to kick us off. We're going under 899 and a half receiving yards this season for Travis Kelsey. This has some massive juice over at the books. Minus 130. We're not paying that juice on prize picks. I think the wide receiver core for the Chiefs is much, much improved from last season. Um, Rasheed Rice. A season under his belt looked like a legit NFL wide receiver with Patrick Mahomes throwing the ball. Easy to do, but a lot better than their other options. So Rasheed Rice has a season under his belt. They went out and got Hollywood Brown in the offseason, and they also drafted Xavier Worthy out of Texas. So three legit receiving options, depending on what uh, Worthy can be for them. But I just think there's going to be more targets demanded by these other guys than there were last season from guys like Marquez Valdez, Scantling, Canarius, Tony. Guys like that, I think these guys are legit NFL wide receivers where, you know, say what you will about MVS. I like them as a Packer more than most, but Canarius, Tony, man, holy shit. Number one job is to catch the football, and he can't catch the football, but we don't have to worry about that. So I, I just think there's more targets to go around uh, than, than Travis Kelsey can absorb. And we also saw a bunch of signs of aging from him last season. I don't. That's not going to get better as he gets older. So I think that continues here. And I think he goes under 900 receiving yards to kick us off. Next up, the big news yesterday, but we're going to go to Debo Samuel. We're going to go over 800 and a half receiving yards. Minus 125 at the books. Again, we're not paying that juice on prize picks. Like I said, the big news yesterday, Brandon Ayuk requested a trade. It doesn't sound like the Niners are going to honor that. That said, he could easily say, you know, I'm going to change that request to a demand and I'm going to sit out until you trade me. We've seen it happen before. So we, if that happens, this number is just going to be smashed by Debo Samuel. He immediately would become the top option and the go-to option in the offense. Obviously they still have George Kittle, but Debo is going to be the wide receiver to go to uh, for Brock Purdy. He went over this number in two of his last three seasons. The season he didn't, he was injured, played just 12 games. Injury is an obstacle for him. He, you know, he's seemingly always questionable. But again, it I'm kind of 
not hedging that Ayuk gets traded or sits out or does whatever, but at 800, I think he can get there regardless. Obviously, it's got the juice at the books, and if Ayuk gets traded, this number is just free. So, like taking the over on 800 receiving yards for Debo Samuel, and then we're going to round it out with a rookie. The arch nemesis, the Chicago Bears. Most of you know I'm a Packer fan, but we're going to go over 675 receiving yards for Roma Dunze. This number just seems stupid low to me. Um, so hold on. All right, we're good. Thought somebody was pulling in my driveway. Uh, too low here. Compared to the other rookie receivers in this class, this number doesn't even compare. Marvin Harrison's over 1,000. Talking about their props here. Harrison over 1,000. Xavier Worthy's at 775. Keon Coleman, 725. Lad McConkey, 775. Malik Neighbors, 850. He was the third receiver taken in the draft. There was talk he could be the best receiver in the draft. Obviously, it's a it was an elite draft class, especially at the top with Neighbors and Harrison. So to be in the conversation with those guys as the top receiver in the draft, I don't see why this number is so low. And Okay, I do because... The prop is going to come down to whether or not Caleb Williams and this Bears offense can get him the ball. Maybe easier said than done with the the Bears history of rookie quarterbacks, but Williams seems a little different. He seems more pro-ready than guys like Mitch Trubisky and Justin Fields that they've taken in the past. He will have to compete for targets with newly acquired Keenan Allen and uh, DJ Moore. DJ Moore was there last year, obviously, but. I just think this number is too low. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, but to me, it's too low. It's got even money at the books, so I might even go to the books and bet it up. Uh, but I just think it's far too low considering where the other rookie receivers rank. Um, obviously, Xavier Worthy has Patrick Mahomes thrown to him. Keon Coleman becomes the number one receiver probably in that offense. Lad McConkey, same thing. Malik Neighbors, same thing. So I get it why it's lower. He doesn't need to have a great season to get over this number. I mean, what are we looking at? 50, 60 yards a game to go over this number? Count me in. I like taking the over on 675 for Roma Dunze, and hopefully none of it comes against my Packers. That said, there are your three free plays for the NFL season. I'm going to be dropping more plays in the Discord as the offseason kind of goes on, as props jump and bump and juice and whatever you have trades happen um brendan Ayuk. <clears throat> but like i said i'll be dropping more plays in there i'm gonna get some more um nba summer league action dropped in the discord today obviously mlb is on break so gotta find something to put some prize picks on and i do enjoy the nba summer league so uh, with that said hit that like and subscribe on your way out and we'll catch you guys tomorrow for thursday's picks we'll see you then peace out